Morning. Uh, Chris Redondo, Ryko 24-7 Ingleburn. We are doing uh, our first part one of this crane install today. So just a quick intro um, on what we're doing, how we approach it, um, why we're, we're doing it, why would the customer want something like this installed on there on their truck. So we have a brand new Maximith ML230 crane. This is a, like a base mount, so it mounts um, on, onto the tray, but not actually on the tray. Um, because the trays are aluminium, if you turn around, you can see the, the truck where we're fitting it onto here is a pretty new uh, high now. I think it's actually brand new-ish. Customers have been using it for a month or two and decided they needed a crane. So we actually make um, the whole install process is not just a matter of just bolting it onto the back of the tray. We need to make a subframe uh, and a chassis, basically so it bolts to the chassis and, and is, is strong at that point where it's going to lift. So this crane has a capacity of lifting. Uh, so we're going to lift 990, 990 kilos, like packed up like that where it is. So it can lift a tonne. So you can imagine bulk it down on such a small footprint there. There's quite a lot of force given, so we have to strengthen the chassis of the truck. So we have uh, like chassis plates if you come around here. Uh, just one of, the, one of the side chassis plates. So if you look at the drawing there, uh, engineers designed, uh, engineers given these drawings to us uh, and said this is how we want, we want you to do it. Um, it has to be engineered. So we will uh, manufacture a 10mm plate. There's no holes or anything in it, and if you can imagine, it'll go on each side of the chassis, so under here. So Michael's working here at the moment. Uh, we've got the chassis up in place. There's a little bit of work to do here because uh, the chassis is actually actually tapers out, so we need to put a bend in there, and we need to pick up our holes. We usually would get these cut out, um, and with the holes in them, uh, profile cut straight away. Um, but in this case, we haven't done this truck before, so we need to um, uh, sort of work out where our holes are and where our bend is uh, to get it in line with um, where we want to mount the crane. So if you actually look at that, there's sort of a bit of a cutout there to chassis supports. So you can see that's the um, that's the cross member that we'll put on. So I think that line there. Let me just look at this. As you can see up here on the chassis. We'll have a 50, 50 by 4, which will sit. Um, 50, 20. Yeah, so it'll sit on top of on top of here, somewhere yeah, like where Mick's got it there. So we we'll have a beam here. We we'll have another um, our HS in there as well. One gets bolted to the side. That's the actual leg beam. So I think the leg beam is the longer one, which is the yeah. the back one. Is the leg beam the back one, Mick? Yeah. Leg beam is the back one. So our leg, the support leg that comes out, the stabilizer leg, slides in that one. And this is just a strengthening beam. It'll go around to the other side as well. And that'll be all be under the tray. You won't see any of that. All that you'll see coming up through the, the bottom, we'll have a 20 mil thick plate that bolts onto those, <coughs> across those and the crane will be mounted mounted to that, so. Okay, so we have our, our power unit. So this is our hydraulic pump. Uh, it's 24, 24 volt. You know, this truck's, um, this truck's electrical system is 24 volt. So we pull it straight off the batteries to power this. And then when you actually use the levers, they've got little limit switches in there which activates and turns this pump on when you use the lever. Um, so it's like, you don't have to turn the pump on, so to speak, it comes on when you need it. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. It's actually mounted. That's nice. Should be like that. And well, that gets mounted on, on the side of the chassis, um, nice and close to the battery, so our, our leads, um, lead runs are nice and short. So this uh, will feed our valve over here, we can, we can do a quick little walk over to our valve. See all that 
control valve and everything that feeds into the thing and then there'll be a return from this valve back into the tank that's mounted uh, that, that's a tank and a pump unit all in one so, hmm. just a quick intro a uh, fair bit of work to do um, there's a few days in it definitely um, getting getting all that mounted cut out um, fabricated uh, painted so yeah Jimmy? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll just make sure you're right. Yeah, that's really easier. Okay, so we're getting to the sticky end now of this crane install. It's taken us a fair bit longer than what we had planned, unfortunately, but um, just one of those jobs. So if you actually come under here a little bit, this is where a majority of the time has been spent. So the whole subframe here, sandwiching between the chassis. These chassis, I don't know if you can see a bend in here, but these, these chassis, the chassis rails as they come to the front of the truck taper around the engine. So these plates are all, have an eight degree taper with a 20 mil plate up here, which is a um, whole subframe basically that the crane bolts to. Um, and why that was uh, challenging was just a lot of stuff in the way and you know, we have to take the tray off and we've got to cut, you know, clearance in the in the tray here for these legs and um, there was uh, not enough clearance for the, the wind that I get through the leg gears. We had to put little drop down brackets. So, you know, usually they're a lot more straightforward than uh, what this one is. But that's okay. We got through it. It's on there now. We're almost there. We've still got some bolting down to do here. Uh, the power unit's on uh, down on the side of the, the chassis here. So that's the pump. Electric motor. So Kevin bolting up the tray underneath there as we speak. Uh, all hands on deck to get this one out the door. This looks a little bit messy, but it's actually because um, there is already some holes and stuff. So we're going to have bulkhead bulkheads going through the floor here. Um, sit somewhere like this. Bulkheads hidden. Nice, and neat, nice and neat under there, so all the box will cover all this, and you won't you won't see anything. And that'll be our supply from our power unit, and then obviously one for the for the return also. So a little bit of wiring to go into the cab. Here you can see there's a there's a, actually this is a light and a and a buzzer. 
And what that is, is a stow alarm. So if the crane isn't fully packed away or is hanging out, the buzzer and the light will go off in the cab to tell the driver that something's wrong, we need to pack up the crane. But we don't want that crane you know, overhanging um, or um, not being packed up because that can cause, um, obviously, you know, damage to other vehicles, damage to someone, or just, just dangerous, obviously. Um, and when you know, for travelling purposes, you want it all tucked up nice, nice and tight as it is, as it is there. So you can see, we don't actually cut a full square around the base of the crane. We put put them up on these crust tubes. You can see the the round tubes that the pad is uh, resting on. That's to actually get it up nice and high. So. Because when the, you can see this actually comes past the base of the of the crane here where it bolts, so we need to raise the crane up a bit so you can fully close this and pack it up and not hit the bottom of the crane. Or leave mark. This is only aluminium, so you know that's why you have to make a full subframe. You can't bolt anything to this, or want, don't want anything touching this or rubbing this because it's aluminium, not very strong. You want all the load and all the force to be all transferred through to the chassis we've bolted onto the to the brace and sub assembly that we've actually mounted to the chassis. So yeah. Good morning. We are now done with the install on the Maxi Lift ML230 crane onto this I know. It was a big job. As I mentioned before, it took a bit longer than we thought, but uh, it's all done now. So uh, what I'm going to do is just do a quick setup. We're going to do our first test lift with it. So over here, you can see we've got a big dead weight. It is a uh, concrete block and it weighs 940, uh, 920 kilos without that. So as you can see on the... 50 here, we've got, we got 990, um, so we'll lift it, um, oh, we'll just extend out uh, a little bit more, so oh, at, at about there we should be at a, almost at our uh, capacity, full capacity lift which it should light up on our on our screen here, so I'll go through the, the pack up, uh, the setup and then the um, use of the crane now. At 900 and 930 kilos odd with the chains there. You can see up on our um, thing there, we're very close to our maximum lift, which is about right. Uh, and what we're checking for is we're just going to go up again. Make sure the load stays there. 
Come down quickly. Oh, come down. Make sure it's not dropping. Just to make sure that this counterbalance valve here is doing its job and it's set correctly. It's the counterbalance valve here. Everything looking good. Fair bit of weight on that leg. The leg's doing its job. You see this truck still setting, sitting nice and level. No strain on the actual chassis or the suspension of the truck. This leg, stabiliser leg's doing all, all, the, all the heavy lifting there, supporting um, the frame and the chassis of the truck while we're lifting this load. So we can put that down now. good all done thanks for watching uh, if you've got any questions about uh, any type of uh, this type of job of uh, installing or purchasing a max lift crane uh, give us a call we can recommend or uh, make some recommendations or yeah, provide some, some info for you to make a decision we've got plenty of brochures on we've got a lot of different um, models of crane in their range in their mini lift um, uh, mini crane range so um, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome bit of kit, these these cranes. We, we run them on our service vehicles as well. We've got one mounted on our cylinder service truck. So, um, yeah, really, really good. Uh, we, we've got hydraulic legs, so you can option them with um, hydraulic legs uh, where it operates off the, the valve bank there. Um, this customer decided just to use the, uh, go with the manual legs. So, yeah, all done. Thanks for watching.